The struggle is real. Businesses are going down right now, left and right as we speak. Tears are being shed when they get declines. Things like that are happening right now. The question is, who told you the well was dry? Who told you that the well was that they ran out? There's no more. Who said? Nobody. Nobody said that. You know why? Because the well is not dry. It still has $250 billion in there that you've been declined of part of that, which is yours. You're a taxpayer. You paid it. Some of you being declined because you live in a low-income area, that map, which makes no sense, is taking you out of the targeted idle advance for a grant that they promised you back in the CARES Act. Some of you are being declined because invalid information. They can't prove that you're a business. But in all this, I want you to know right now there is a, there is a fight being fought with the movement that we've created here on YouTube. Me, McElholm, fighting hard. Dunham, thank you, sir. But there's another fight that's starting to be fought as well regarding your congressman. Because of the calls we've been making to our congressmen, local, around our districts, they're starting to feel the heat. And it's starting to become a reality to them that it's not stopping and we are not stopping until everybody out there that I am talking to right now is getting your money. Cherokee, don't give up. We're now getting congressmen involved all over the United States of America. Congressmen are now starting to feel the pressure from our calls. We are not stopping the calls. Even if we've got to call them two or three times a day, we have to call them two or three times a day. Find your congressman or congresswoman in your local district and call them. You need to do that now or do that tomorrow at a more reasonable time. Between, say, 8 and 5 would be perfect. But they're starting to feel the pressure. They're starting to come along, and we may be seeing a congressional movement by our congressmen and women pushing forward right now for the SBA to start doing its job better because they are mishandling you. And we're not going to let that happen. Unverifiable information, really? You got the 4506T. You got my tax transcripts. You got everything you need that, you, that you've asked me for. We've given it to you. Unverifiable information. Guess which finger I'm using? That's not an answer that is going to be accepted by the Small Business of America. No. There's 200, over $250 billion in the EIDL program for loans. Get it out to the people who need it quickly. Businesses are going under. Senators, congressmen, women, I bet you you don't live in a low-income community. I bet you if I got pictures of all your houses out there and shot them out there, it would show that you're not in a low-income community, but that's where you're trying to put people back into people who have scraped their way to get out of low-income areas, you are making them go back into low-income areas. That should not be the case. That should not be how it's done, but it's how you're doing it. It's how the SBA is handling the small businesses right now. They're trying to put everybody back into low-income areas. For all of those of you out there that have fought your whole lives to get out of the ghetto, to be placed back into the ghetto in order to get a doggy bone from Congress and the Senate, screw that. And here's the catch. Once you get put back into the ghetto, you're not guaranteed that money. You're not guaranteed that $10,000 idle grant because you're in the ghetto because I see a lot. I see more people that are being declined that are in the ghetto than that are getting it that are in the ghetto. So don't let them fool you. And for those of you SBA administrators and politicians that are up there in the who's who in the SBA zoo, you think that the small businesses are the only ones getting fed up with the nonchalant of how you're giving out the idle loans and grants, think again. Shout out to Robert Dunham. He sent me this one. My congressional office just told me Congress is getting a caucus together to address SBA lack of information. My congressman's office just called me to tell me they are going to follow up 
with the SBA again about my status. They advised the SBA are not returning replies to many of the several congressional office inquiries, so some members of Congress are getting a caucus together to address with the head of the SBA. They are over this too, apparently. Hope it happens and make some change happens to make some changes. Yeah. So get ready, SBA. Stay tuned, SBA, because the new shout out of the new information, the the great news that I'm hearing right now isn't coming from the SBA. It's coming from our congressional officers and it's coming from us that are fighting, saying you guys are going to put the money out the way it was intended in Congress. That's just how it's got to be done. That's the way America operates and that's the way it's going to continue to operate. And some of you might even say, speak, you seem a little frustrated tonight. Well, I am. They're declining people I care about. They're denying people I, that I really have grown to love and care about. They're denying you. They're declining you. So yeah, I'm frustrated with you. And it's not going to go down like this. Like there's supposed to be some breaking news coming up this week. There's supposed to be some great news for all of you small businesses coming up this week. You know what that great news is? Hopefully it's something that should have already been done. Don't try to sell me what I should have already gotten that you're giving it to me now. Don't try to sell these small businesses like you're giving them something that wasn't already intended to, to be theirs. Like they were not supposed to have this already. We are not letting this SBA hold our water jugs out in the desert for us. While they're all sucking up all the liquid and giving it to the politicians and wherever they want to give, they want to put the water where whoever they want to give the water to, they give it to. And while half of the people out there, 90% of the people out there are falling flat on their faces. And remember this, the 90% of people that are being declined right now, we're doing great in 2020, the beginning of it, in 2019. We're doing great, expecting big things for legislative lockdowns and close your door and stay home orders. Businesses didn't put this on themselves. By no fault of their own are they in this jam. Now that they're holding their water cups out saying, okay, you need to pour some water in here and the SBA saying, nope, nope. You don't get any when we're the ones who put the water in there for us, not Congress, not the Senate. We did taxpayers. SBA, get it straight. It's not your money. It's ours. So don't try to sell us what was already supposed to be ours and that we're paying for with our tax money. It's not going down like this. You see, I get it. I get it. I have kids. I'm a business owner. I have kids. I have family. I have a car. I have a house. I, I've got bills I have to pay. And I know that a lot of you business owners out there, I know a lot of you out there that have children that are, you're looking to keep your, the food on the table. You're looking to keep that rent paid. You're looking to, so nobody comes and repos your car. You're looking at all these things a business owner needs in order to keep your business afloat. I get it. That's why I do this. <laughs> so to all you small businesses out there that have been declined for whatever reason, unverifiable information, whatever reason, or denied the idle grant due to your location or lack of proof of 30% loss for the $10,000 idle grant, don't let them tell you the well is dry. Because it's not. There's plenty there. And don't stop trying to go get it. And there is a movement right now going on to go get that. Between us and our congressmen. Our senators can kiss, can have jumped ship. And come election day, I think we should show them all a big lesson. All of them. But right now, we need to get with our local district congressional representatives and let them know they declined you. And that's not the way it's going down. Because they were not supposed to decline you. Somebody say, hey. 
I want my 10K. Yeah.